Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Got an interesting one today, I'm finally back from Iceland, and apparently, in one of my earlier videos that was uploaded uh, over the course of my trip to PDXCon in uh, Reykjavik, there was a uh, comment that I made, which was like, you know what would be a cool challenge run? If we did no item rooms and no shops, but you start with deck of cards and infinite item power, uh, and you take two judgment cards per floor and just play those instead. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. It was suggested by a YouTube user, but I forget what his name was, and I apologize for that, because it's a pretty shitty thing for me to do in this situation. But, in any case, hopefully you know where we are, or where you know who you are, I should say. I also started with a quarter to give ourselves a little bit of a head start, just to make sure you know. To a certain extent, with judgment cards, if you start out and you're like giving them four cents per floor, there's a chance you never get any items, and then you just fail and die. I mean, fail in the, the F sense, not fail in the, you know, Oh, I'm on the internet in 2013, if you made a small mistake, it's a fail. Uh, so that's that's where I lie with that right now. In any case, first things first, we are going to get our key, we're going to get our bombs. I am going to go to the secret room, because uh, in going to the secret room, we should get even more money. Secret rooms are going to be more valuable probably than any... Well, we're never going to find the secret room, sadly. Um... Yeah, but they are going to be more valuable as we move along. So we're going to play our first judgment here. Just got to remember to only use two per floor. By the way, I apologize if I clear my throat a lot in this video or if my voice sounds a little bit different. I'm super still jet lag. Notched axe. Well, that is garbage. Let's go with our second judgment here. Who does not actually... Oh, there he is. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm super jet lagged. I've been screaming all weekend and, you know, mistreating my vocal cords basically. So it might take me a couple of days to get back to normal here on the the vocal front but at least I'm not super sick which is something that happened when I went to PAX hey we got our third judgment don't judge me I'm gonna use this judgment card we earned it this is not part I'm not hacking the system this came from the existing judgment so we got another map then we're gonna pop down this judgment card I'm gonna play him this has started pretty fast and furious uh, I don't know where the other uh, secret room could, like, or like, not the other, but the secret room could possibly be. So we are going to be probably devoid of money upon leaving this floor. Unless we, oh, come on! Oh, wait, you know why? It's because the deck of cards always gives judgment. So actually, I was cheating the system a little bit, but it was that unintentional. Okay, so all the cards are always going to be judgment, so I can never use any other tarot cards. That's good to know. On the bright side, the third judgment, I didn't really cheat the system too much, because the third judgment ended up giving me nothing anyway. So let's move out of here. We are going to be running two judgments per floor. I apologize for my uh, oversight there, but in the end, it only ended up actually hurting me because I ended up picking up absolutely nothing from that third judgment except for two judgment cards. So we'll just remember to hold ourselves to two judgments per floor. Uh, and uh, other than that, I think everything is going to be a-okay. I mean, we started here. Oh, you know what? We do know where the secret room is now because of the uh, map. Actually, getting that map is going to be huge. Especially since that other judgment didn't end up paying us out with any items, and the, the first judgment gave, gave us the notched pickaxe. Bad damage. Um, that should mean that I get a lot more money. I have kind of a reliable source of income. Which should mean that I'm able to get some more items from the judgments in the future. This has been bad fighting. Forgive me, I mean, we are dealing with a, a situation where I haven't played the game in like a week and a half. Ah, uh, probably a week at this point. Uh, so we're just gonna go to the secret room with our last remaining bomb. Please don't be a slot machine. Please be a money fact. Ah, okay, so we're gonna leave. First floor, I would say, has not turned out fantastically. Hopefully, we're able to improve on this with our second floor, because what are we gonna need? Lots of HP upgrades. I mean, we do have boss rooms, I'll admit. But we're definitely gonna want HP upgrades as well. Oh, found the secret room by accident. Excellent. That allows us to get money without necessarily wasting bombs, even though we did just get a bomb there, which is a welcome change of pace as well. There we got Unicorn Horn, which you can't really... Uh, take but we'll shoot the fire because obviously at some point I'm gonna want to use these judgment cards and hopefully pick up some stat upgrades Missing out on item rooms and shops is a big deal man Hopefully we're able to uh, you know reverse our fortunes a little bit because the first the map I'll admit is great uh, But not if we end up just constantly picking up items that I can't even use as you might be aware That is how things have gone so far more money drops would be fantastic as well because as is right now I'm in a pretty bad situation with respect to that. I thought about giving myself maybe the dollar or like two quarters, but at that point I think I was deservedly opening, my, opening myself up to uh, kind of criticism about like making the game a little bit floatier than necessary, and by floatier I just mean easier basically. So we're going to be fighting Gluttony here. No rules against not taking uh, items that you get from boss rooms, so obviously I'm going to be uh, on the lookout for the Gluttony HP upgrade here, which would be a fantastic upgrade to our existing system. May or may not happen. 
We're about to find out. Well, we get two red hearts and a key. Well, one red heart, two half red hearts and a key. So far, so bad. But <clears throat> pardon me, I lost my uh, frog in my throat there. But pardon me, uh, we are still doing fine because we're still on a very early floor here. But things can change pretty drastically, pretty quickly. It's the rare white gish. There is also a tinted rock in here. I'm getting hit like crazy, which should not be the case. But there is health for me to take. If I am so desiring of that. Can I seriously just not kill this guy? This is crazy. There's a lot of fire in here too. I can get some money maybe. Tarot card is obviously going to be judgment. So there's no need really to F around with that just yet. Uh, two spirit hearts is cool enough. I was really hoping for a little bit of cash. But uh, you can't always get what you want. I'm actually going to go. Uh, you know what? Here's the thing. I said no shops. I kind of want to go into the shop to just fight greed. But that might be frowned upon. And you might even be right in frowning upon it as well, because I did say no shops, I'll admit. This might be a floor where we get two Judgments and actually don't have the ability to use either of them. I mean, Judgment has the potential to be awesome for us, but if we don't have any money, there's not too much we can do about that. Keys are fine. We're going to see if maybe we can earn a deal with the Devil here. After fighting Pin, which should be easy enough for us. And for once, you know, Pageant Boy, sign me the fuck up, because otherwise these Judgments are going to be basically useless. Was that... The highest, like, jump that Pin has ever done in his entire life. That was crazy. Came like 20 feet out of the ground. That was another bad one right there, but somehow I managed to not get hit. Pin is proving to be not super difficult so far. I think I actually caught him in the cube of meat there, which is awesome. And in a little bit, he'll be dead. I took some more damage, which means we're probably uh, risking our chances at the deal with the devil here. He might hit himself here. He did indeed. No deal with the devil. We get our tiers upgrade. You know what? I'm not even using the judgments. There's no point. Instead, we will just head. Ah, you know, I could. I guess it could have been demon judgment. We're gonna head down to the next floor though. Uh, and this has the potential to spiral out of control pretty goddamn fast. As is right now, we have a single tiers upgrade and a single spirit heart, uh, which could, you know, it's probably temporary, to say the least. So we're gonna be really hoping for a lot of money on this floor. Obviously, I'll go to that mob trap room. I'm gonna be shooting poops and fires to try to make it happen. Golden poop is a godsend, as is a trinket like the counterfeit penny, which, to be quite honest with you, is probably a good balancing factor uh, to add into this run if this one doesn't turn out that well. Maybe I'll redo it with something like the counterfeit penny, or just giving myself the dollar or two quarters at the start. Who knows, man. Umbilical cord, not the trinket I wanted, but uh, I'm glad that I have a trinket. Extra bombs means more uh, shots of the secret room. Not immediately super important, because I already did have one, uh, but I'll, I'll deal with it, you know. We're still very early on in the game here. All I need is to deal with the devil. Deal, deal with the devil and I'll be alright. Or as Michael A.L. Fox says, Can of corn! Can of corn and I'll be alright. Well, we don't need a can of corn. We need a can of whoop-ass. Courtesy of a mom's knife. Brimstone. Spirit of the night. Holy grail. Transcendence, etc, etc. I don't know. Wrap it all up in a single uh, package and, and send it to me and I'll be happy. So we're just going to take these dudes out one by one if I can stop with the itchy trigger finger. There we go. And this one as well. One more. And, oh, two more. Oh, I've done it. I've got them all trapped in the cycle. I'm trapped in the cycle as well. The menstrual cycle, right, guys? <laughs> not, not right. That is not right by any version of that term. Pop up, please. Like a video on VH1. We got nothing here. Oh, we do still have four bombs. Don't worry, I'm gonna pick up the umbilical cord. I'm just clearing out my closet here, m and style. Or, you know, when you're moving away to college style. Who knows, man. Just keep popping up these flies. And in the hopes that that secret room contains something awesome, I'm going to blow up that wall. It is indicated by our map here. Uh, 15 cents would be beautiful. 100 cents would be impossible, but also great. Obviously, they're gonna put some money down there in a situation where we can't do anything with it. Please! Money, alright. Now, I'm not going to use Judgment in there. Let's use Judgment out here. This is going to be Judgment number one for this floor. Still got one remaining in case things turn out amazing. There we go, we got a ladder. That was really nice. Paid for itself. We're going to pop down Judgment two now. Ladder plus map, not bad items. We're, we're a long way from being overpowered, but I still appreciate it regardless. Uh, and then he's going to give us Mom's coin purse. Could be good, could be terrible. Let's see what we've got here. At least it's something. Full health. All right, so I'm going to take that full health pill with me, obviously. Tears up. And the final one. Friends till the end, you know what? A full health, a tears upgrade. Well, two full health, technically, but... Uh, tears upgrade and a uh, full health pill out of that. As well as the fairly transient friends till the end. That's all right. We do have our boss here. I might fight our boss here. But obviously, I want to backtrack a bit throughout the level. That was actually a fairly good set of judgments. Didn't uh, put me over the moon or... 
over the top, Stallone style, with respect to any of our items. But hey, at least I have money for the next floor as well. And this is going to be an annoying fight. Annoying fight means probably no deal with the devil right now. But, you know, we'll look towards the future. I'm going to shoot one bomb in here. Uh, take out the Gerdmeister. Do a little bit of extra damage at least, because otherwise uh, this thing is going to prove to be pretty annoying. We do have probably a long fight ahead of us here. Yep, there's damage, which means deal with the devil is probably off the table. But pretty soon, once I get these nubs taken care of, we're going to find ourselves in a position, or Gertie's going to find herself in a position that she's not going to be too, too fond of. Now, just please don't spawn grandfather flies. That's all I ask. We're only doing like 5% damage to her total health per turn. Per turn, what am I playing? Fucking XCOM here? Uh, you know, like per barrage, but could be worse. She's down to about 20% overall, I would say. Maybe down to 10 now. We're just going to keep it going. Doing a little left to right circling. And this might be it if I get very lucky, but we're probably going to have to do one more switch. There we go. And then we got our last nub. Probably, yep, I knew it was going to hit me. We get Pageant Boy, though, which is actually kind of exactly what I wanted. Tons of money there. Uh, and to be honest with you, I kind of want to go right down to the next floor because this is a slow one so far. But I'm going to, you know, cooler heads will prevail. So I'm going to take us up here uh, and hopefully find some items to pick up. We do have a shop. Of course, I can't go to that. Uh, we have this full health pill, which could be important for me at some point in the future, considering my HP is still uh, only at our base level, which does mean on the bright side, I could potentially roll like a pure spirit heart build here. I feel like I'm like building a Magic the Gathering deck or something, but uh, I, I could. I mean, it's not in a good situation for me with respect to that, because I, I need uh, you know something like a relic or the nail, which is literally impossible, because I have to hold on to this deck of cards. Uh, but, uh, well, the relic is possible. The nail is and Book of Revelations are impossible. Was this room worth it? Took a long time, and we got single penny. You know what? That single penny could end up being a, an HP upgrade or something. Plus, it allowed us to get to Wrath here, who's going to be easy to kill. And beyond that, uh, is also going to... Hey, stay away. Uh, is also going to allow us to... Get some bomb... Oh! Okay, that was close. Get some bombs, which will uh, open up more secret rooms for us, which is good. I use bombs on the Gertie fight, so the more bombs we can get now, the better. Come to me, please, if you want to live. I'm trapped in the corner, but anyway, I got out. So that's four or three extra bombs for me. An extra key and uh, potential for success in the future. Now that I have so many keys, realizing, you know what? Maybe golden chest, man. Maybe that's where the future lies. Guppy's tail from a deal with the devil or something could actually be beneficial in this situation. Although they do function kind of similar to judgments, uh, in that they tend to give stat upgrades when they give anything at all, which is <laughs> something that's not out of the question either. All right, we've explored the entire floor. There's probably one second secret room somewhere. Well, there's definitely a second secret room somewhere. As for where it is, I have absolutely no idea, so we are just going to move onwards down here. And hopefully, uh, on the next floor, man, HP upgrades. I need some damage, uh, and I need uh, probably a speed upgrade, which is not out of the question with respect to these pills that we hopefully will be getting. Uh, and uh, almost broke into some Whitney Houston, but uh, yeah, damage, HP, uh, and speed would be huge. That was actually a surprisingly good dodge. You might not have noticed it there, but it, it worked out very well. Let's just slot ourselves in here. There we go. I am going to use the judgment cards right now, actually. Oh, that's demon judgment. I, that's fine. We're gonna play regular judgment first. We'll come back to demon judgment. I mean, that has the potential to be really good. But we'll come back to demon, demon judgment as our health situation kind of normalizes or becomes clearer. There's an HP for us. You know what? Demon judgment, you got your chance to shine here. That was awesome, even though it didn't pay out with anything. Uh, I appreciate that it paid out quickly, at least. If you're gonna rip me off, at least don't rip me off for a lot. Let me get back to my business as quickly as possible. We have a slot machine, which I'm gonna use a bomb to blow up. Hopefully this will give us some money. Give us two cents. Those could translate into an HP upgrade. You never know. I'm feeling a little bit better about this floor now. Uh, still, we're probably well worse off than we would be if we'd gone to item rooms and shops so far. But it's not 100%, you know? It's not an exact science. Maybe we're doing better than we would be in this situation. So what are we looking for now on this floor? Uh, boss room. I guess we've already been... It, it, like, we've already been to secret room. And we've already been to... Uh, the judgment room, or the room where we're using our judgments. So we kind of might as well bum rush it. We have the money necessary to use judgments on future floors. That might be the ultimate balancer, by the way. 
that makes this run even out with a, a normal run uh, in terms of strength or potential strength eventually is that we're gonna be able to use this uh, these judgment cards that was a classy dodge right there we're gonna be able to use these judgment cards past the depths part too so we're gonna continue getting items into the womb or at least have the potential to get items into the womb uh, cathedral and uh, even on the chest which we'll obviously try to use before fighting blue baby there's a little extra money for us there's our boss room I am probably gonna dip set from this floor now because there's not too much else left here that could benefit me I think anyway that was bad uh, extra health though, so yeah, let's just fight our boss and then move onwards and start getting these items as fast as possible. So let's have Chubb come up here, we'll have him eat this. I took some serious damage against that Silkworm, which was pretty terrible of me. Oh, come on, I just wasted a bomb there because he changed directions for no reason. Uh, I'm gonna save my existing two bombs for potentially tinted rocks or, you know, just, uh, getting to secret rooms because obviously that's super important. Uh, we're in an interesting situation here. I'm continuing to take damage. Uh, that was a lot of it. Our deal with the devil is probably off the table for now. Maybe in a, on a future floor I can get very lucky and, and we can have that happen. As is, I'm playing pretty poorly, but that's kind of to be expected considering the absence that I've had from the game. We get a spirit art from Chubb. We get a cat of nine tails, which is kind of garbage, and we're heading down to the next floor. Could be worse. We could be in a worse situation right now. Uh, and since we do have so much money, I think I should play the Judgment cards right away. So let's take our Judgment card here. Always better to get these advantages at the start of the floor if possible. And I'm hoping, again, more HP upgrades, more damage upgrades. You know what? Bombs, I'll take. Uh, that is Mom's Purse. That's that's fine, actually. We can get a second trinket. Uh, which, at this point, at the very least, we'll be able to hold on to Umbilical Cord as well as the uh, Polaroid. Which might not seem like that much of an incentive because the, the umbilical cord isn't that good for us and the Polaroid isn't going to be that good for us either uh, as we move along. Unless we start rolling all spirit hearts, but I haven't been able to get a deal with the devil so far due to my play. You know what? There's an HP upgrade. All complaining is now uh, put aside. And we still have 11 cents, but we might want to do a little bit more backtracking on this floor, a little bit more exploration on this floor is probably a more accurate way to put it. Uh, just so that I can maximize my chances of... Continuing to get a lot of that money. We do have the secret room coming up. Who knows? If that has 50 cents in it, then it's unlikely for me to be doing too much more exploration. We're almost back to full health. Dealing with these gluttonies, and I appreciate the fact that the game, uh, that was awful. It's finding it within its heart to give me the depths part one as opposed to Necropolis. Because to be honest with you, I don't know if I have the skill or the strength in terms of our items, uh, in both my personal play, uh, to beat Necropolis right now. We got a one up. That's a free item, basically. So I'm okay with that. We will come down here and start looking around for some special rooms. This is a good room for us because we could possibly... I mean, right now, here's the thing. We're, we're very... Oh, I didn't mean to put a bomb there. That was a total accident. We're very low on damage. Uh, which means rooms like this where we can cause chain reactions like that are, are fantastic for me. Uh, but we're going to struggle when we come to some of the other rooms. Like, uh, potentially some of the bosses that we could fight right now. Or in the very near future are going to be a problem. Mom could be a problem. For us, not from a defensive standpoint, but from an offensive standpoint, at the very least. But the one up is going to give us a little bit more survivor survivability. Um, survivor ability is is your aptitude to uh, impersonate Richard Hatch. Is that joke that joke dates me a little bit, I think, but not as much as I I might like to think sometimes. Uh, we're going to just try to take these guys out. This is the exact opposite of that bomb room we just played. Even though they look very similar, this room requires a little bit more dodging ability and uh, there's no chance of a chain reaction. I'm losing spirit hearts like crazy, by the way. I, I probably should have just been saving the ones that I got earlier in this game. Like, I should have just avoided being hit, but, you know, that's obviously easier said than done. I'm gonna put this bomb here. That's gonna kill all three of them. That was absolutely worth it. Even if it only got one or two, it probably still would have been worth it, but getting all three makes it a, a no-brainer. Get it? No brainer, because those guys have brains, but then they didn't have brains because I shot their brains. Well, I didn't shoot them, I exploded them. Uh, I took one heart of damage on this room already. Just trying to hold myself, you know, key, stay accountable. Uh, it was pretty poor damage, but it's a tough room to deal with when you're not doing all that much damage yourself. This is going to be our boss room, and we're also going to be running into uh, a bunch of leapers up here. When I, oh, Jesus Christ. What I think I might do is, is end up popping the full health pill on this room. Obviously, I want to save it. Uh, but I, I feel like you have a better chance of getting a deal with the devil if you go into that fight with full health and you keep full health. Uh, and obviously I'm, I'm nowhere near that right now. Might be a little bit of a... It, it might not be a little bit of a waste as I get closer and closer to my death here, sadly. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna... Well, we'll take this pill first. What does it do? Speed up. I needed that. 
I am gonna pop this full health pill. Some of you might think I'm crazy. Maybe I am crazy. Just a little bit. What's it to you? Okay, so now we've got to get Monstro. <clears throat> Pardon me again. We've got to get Monstro stuck in a permanent laser state. Which is something that is not super easy to get started. It's kind of out of my hands. But once we get him in the... There we go. We got him in the zone. And now we're just going to continue this ad infinitum. Try not to walk into him. Might actually earn a deal with the devil here, believe it or not. If so, I will be vindicated for using that full health pill, I feel. Uh, but we'll see. We've still got a little bit left in this fight. I could easily walk into him by accident. Stranger things have happened. We're just going to try to keep him as close to the center as possible. Because uh, obviously that minimizes the risk of me creating a situation where I can't dodge around him. We're at about 40%. This is a very boring boss fight if you do it right. Uh, but doing it right is absolutely essential for us in our current situation. Because I'm not really strong by any means. But I am a man of means by no means. King of the womb. Uh, what do we have? We have good tiers. We have decent all-around stats overall with the exception of damage. Our health is okay. Our tiers are okay. Our speed is fine. Range, etc, etc. There's more HP for us. Uh, again, this is still at, only at the level of okay, though, I would say. <clears throat> so, we're not in a perfect situation, but um, we, we have tools that we could use to, to help us out in the future. Also, of course, we do have the ladder and the map as well. Neither of which have really paid off too well, although the ladder has opened some up, opened up some good uh, dodging possibilities for me. I just really want to kill those nubs in the center before I deal with anything else. Surprisingly difficult, though. If we could at least get some of the guys into the ooze state, I, I would have more time, I feel like, to manage with these nubs over. Ah, oh, god damn it! I knew it was going to happen. I couldn't continue this dodging forever. We have taken out one of the nubs, though. There's one of the guys in the ooze state down, nub number two is gonna go, and then our champion nub. Could have been easier. Extra keys though, man, those golden chests aren't gonna know what hit them if we ever get a single one over the course of this entire game. Okay, so I'm just dodging here, firing in random barrages, basically. It's working! To a certain extent, but it's slow, and slow means I have to be incredibly consistent. Obviously, I'm not, so we're gonna end up taking uh, three hits of damage here. That was four right there. Uh, we do have a Tinted Rock, though. I'm really hoping for a Small Rock. That's gonna be a Judgment card. I'm uh, really hoping for- Yeah! Exactly! We got a Small Rock and a Spirit Heart. That's exactly what I would've, uh, said if I wanted to finish that sentence. Our Secret Room contains not Greed. It contains Bob's Rotten Head, which is not much better. Uh, let's pop our first Judgment card. Maybe he will pay out, uh, within 11 cents. It's certainly possible. Just keeping it up. Seven is exactly where I would want this to start happening. Well, Live Bomb, he's probably gonna... Oh, I thought he was gonna blow himself up, but not quite. So I'm playing one Judgment, I'm, I'm milking all the money that I want to give to the second Judgment, unfortunately. Uh, so we're, we're playing a dangerous game right here, obviously that's gonna be a Judgment as well. Uh, I really need this guy to pay out with something, and he did come through with an HP upgrade, so all's well. But I need more money if I'm going to uh, play this second Judgment and likely get anything. But the extra damage from the small rock, you know, kudos to the Troll Engine for hooking me up with something with a little bit of... Uh, benefit for me there. Obviously we're in a position- I can't get out of here! Um, I would love to use uh, some keys to open the, this lock to get to the chest, but I actually don't need to. Uh, we'll continue on our streak of having not used any keys this entire run, I feel. And just kind of walk over here and get the half heart. I'm not sure if that worked out well for us. I mean, we have lost a spirit heart very recently. We don't have enough bombs to really justify uh, using one to kill any of these guys. So I'm just gonna try to get some side shots in and maybe start getting some leverage. Uh, I hate these zombies, man. Maybe side shots are the secret on the zombies. These guys are literally the opposite of zombies. I'm not sure why I call them zombies, but it's it's a name, and the name has certainly stuck. That was an easy room, actually. I I'm proud of myself, as we're gonna make our way towards that boss room, and really towards all of the rooms, because I want to get more money and possibly get that second judgment up. But I need better items. I mean, the, the health is very welcome, don't get me wrong. If we don't get deals with the devil, though, I have nothing to leverage that health into beyond, you know, kind of procrastinating my own death or prolonging it slightly. Pro prolonging my life, I guess I should say. Prolonging your death sounds terrible. Well, maybe not terrible. Anyway, th that, that existential quandary is neither here nor there. What is here and there is that head and that body, which are now also neither here nor there. Coming up over here, we have a great intersection of rooms. I got very lucky not to be hit there. And now I've got the path set up, so we're okay. Uh, I can go to the library. I mean, there's no rules against that. So let's check that out. Uh, I was hoping there was a Book of Revelations, but there's not. But Book of Sin gives us a heart, which is fine. That was worth a key, I would say, in my opinion. 
We can go to the mob trap room now. Uh, the mob trap room contains a skeleton key, and you know what? At this point, why not? Like, it's gonna be a, a fairly easy room, even if we lose a heart or something. To ha oh, that was terrible. Uh, but to have unlimited keys, basically, uh, is, is a godsend. Again, we could end up trading in some health, maybe get Guppy's uh, tail, and make this worthwhile for ourselves. Maybe. Again, these are all up in the air like a George Clooney movie. Uh, I always use George Clooney, man. Start using, like, Anna Kendrick or something. I don't- I haven't seen Up in the Air is the problem. Or Vera Flaminga, I, I forget the way that that name is pronounced. I probably made myself sound very silly. You know, the, the girl from The Departed. Anyway, uh, those dudes are dead. I really didn't think that was the end of the room. I thought there was another one left. We still only have one cent. What are we to do with this very, very limited amount of money? That's a good question. And we have a fortune teller there, which we could blow up. For two bombs, we could blow up that fortune teller. But I need those bombs to go to the secret room on future floors, so I think I'm gonna save the, the the bombs. We're unlikely to get like a dime from the fortune teller, so it's not really a huge potential benefit uh, for us. Mixture of eyeless and eye full ooze guys on this room, but that should be easy enough to take out. So notice what I'm giving like a description of what's in the room. I feel like I'm I'm on like network news and I'm giving like a weather report. I'm like, oh, there's gonna be eyeless ooze guy and uh, blah blah blah. Eyeless ooze guys in Minneapolis today. Followed by, you know, partly cloudy in the Austin re region. Clearly, I don't have the acting chops for network news, considering I just stuttered, like, twice. Wow, that was a clutch dodge. Uh, yeah, considering I just stuttered twice in that very small segment of, uh, media there. Anyway, I'm just gonna shoot from afar, and I didn't get hit, which is kind of amazing to me. I'm blowing this treasure chest up because we need the money. And there actually is a decent amount in there. I'm not gonna use the judgment card yet, because I just want to see if maybe there's a little bit more on this room. I should actually save the judgment card until we fight mom. Uh, because if mom gives us something that gives us money, uh, then we won't be able to leave and use the judgment card like on this room. So we might as well fight mom first. <clears throat> and it's gonna be red mom, which is good. Where's method mom? <laughs> the joke's funnier the 30th time around. Um, which means it should be easier. I've taken a little bit of damage so far, which kind of uh, belies what I was saying earlier, but... This is what we're gonna have to do. It's gonna take a little while because our damage is not through the roof or anything. But, in time, she will die. And there's not really too much I can do to speed this up beyond getting very, very close and trying to snipe her with a cube of meat or something. Which is, uh, unlikely to work out in a way that makes me happy. If you know what I mean. I'm trying here, I'm just dodging ever so slightly to try to stay in cube of meat range. But I I'm, I'm playing with fire here and eventually this is gonna backfire on me. Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna be able to get away with it there. I almost panicked and hit the E key as well. Okay, so we got another foot coming in, and another two should be the end. Last one here? Yes, indeed. Okay. So we get the HP, we get the Polaroid, which we have to take. We're gonna be at eight health. We're gonna have another judgment. Demon judgment might be okay. Let's see. Oh, it's regular judgment. And you know what? Seven cents? It's a gamble. This is like pretty much the bare minimum I would want to play judgment with. And he gave us another HP upgrade, which is good. But not necessarily good enough. We're having kind of a marathon run here, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. I'm okay with a run of this length. Uh, I'm just worried that maybe we don't necessarily have... I'm just going to put that bomb there and try to keep it there. Dual purpose. Killed some eyeless ooze guys, or at least knocked them down to the ooze state. While at the same time opening up the secret room for myself. That was an advanced level tactic that I, I've almost never used. Let's see what we've got in here. Uh, unicorn horn, again. I didn't think that would appear again. Maybe I should pick it up just so it can't show up again. Uh, I believe that's a mechanic of Isaac anyway. Really shouldn't have to say stuff like that after 412 episodes or whatever we're on. This is probably 411, actually. Uh, but, uh, I'm still unclear as to some of the mechanics, because I don't read the wiki, uh, ever. So I'm just gonna try to find the boss room with six cents. We're not in a good territory for judgment here. Usually like to have at least, like, seven... For two judgments, you'd want to double that, of course, so you, you want to be in, like, the 15 range. Basically, my general rule for, for this run, informally, has been, uh, you know, you want to have 15 cents per floor, exactly the same as going to the shop uh, on, um, you know, a normal floor. Now, I mean, if we look at our stats now, we, we've basically doubled our health since the last time I checked our stats, which is great. However, is it enough? And the answer is no, obviously. I mean, we've got the extra health, or the extra damage as well, by way of the small rock, but it isn't quite enough. We need one more item at the very least to put us over the top, and by over the top in this case, I actually just mean, you know, just give us a chance. Because we're not going to be able to make this work with what we've got right now. I'm trying my best, 
It's just, uh, it's unlikely, shall we say. Can I get close enough for Cube of Meat to damage him here without putting myself in harm's way? I might have to just use a bomb to kill him, which is unfortunate. Ah, it hurt me too! Um, yeah, it's unfortunate, but, uh... <sighs> you know what? Let's play one Judgment. Maybe this Judgment will end up hooking us up with something awesome. A full health pill would be amazing as well. Kind of sucks because we can't get the Sun card here. You know what? He just gives us another HP upgrade. I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. That's pretty okay. We're going to make our way back here, and I'm going to go top left looking for that boss. Do I save the four cents to put it into a Judgment on the next floor, or do I risk the four cents on a judgment, on our second judgment on this floor in the hopes that he gives us something when there's actually a fairly good chance he's gonna give us nothing. It's an interesting query one in which I, I haven't totally decided yet. So that's how we killed the doppelganger there. We just walked him into the corner. Should have done that earlier before I took some stupid damage. A little bit more money. Five cents is pushing us a little bit closer to that borderline where I would consider judgment to be a, a fairly likely investment. You know what? If we get to the end of this floor and we haven't gotten any more money, I'll still I'll still use Judgment. I would love to get another penny or two, though, at the very least. I mean, another dime would be fantastic. I can't believe I got hit there. Again, not playing superbly. But the game hasn't necessarily been, been making things easy on me, either. What do we have in here? More- okay, that's definitely uh, gonna make Judgment- Well, it's definitely gonna make it so I use Judgment. Might not necessarily make him viable. That remains to be seen, but what do I want here? Flying, give me Transcendence. Sometimes you can give up Transcendence, Judgment. I know that to be true. That key was worthless because we already have 99. I still believe we have not used any keys over the course of this run so far. You know, he's giving us bombs. Those are underrated. We're going to need those for Mom's Heart. He gives us Lard. It's basically a speed down, but a ton of HP up. Speed still feels good, so... I, again, can't look a gift horse in the mouth. Lard is a, a solid item. Uh, but at this point, we don't need raw HP. We need raw damage. And actually, we kind of need... HP, but not in the sense of more HP containers. We just need more max. Oh, that was bad. We need more actual health, not maximum health. I can only take three more hits. We're, we're actually coming down to the wire here. If, if I was to beat Mom's heart on this run, I would consider it a success. But uh, that is becoming, I think, an increasing pipe dream. We know exactly where the boss has to be right now. He has to be like bottom left. Uh, hopefully, we can swing something easy against Skolex. But you know, no guarantees. Just gonna try to play a minute by minute. One thing's for sure, these are definitely the kinds of rooms that I can't afford to take damage on. I swear that was where that sentence was going even before I got hit. Uh, I really can't afford to be taking hits on Larry Jr. this late in the game. But you know, it's gonna take me a little while to get back in the groove. It's like the third, or actually it's probably like the fifth or sixth time I've had to mention this. That's gonna be a judgment card, so we might as well just ignore it. Um, but, uh, you know, whenever I, I take some time off from Isaac, it takes a little while to get back into it. Usually not- oh, one more hit and I'm dead, so I gotta be careful. Usually not too much time, but, but some time. Couple rounds, especially with these challenge runs. Every round is a little bit different, you know? You gotta adapt your playstyle. Now, we could get lucky here and be saved. That heart is gonna go a long way, but also... Uh, I was hoping there'd be a Book of Revelations in here. Sadly, no. So, we can't really do anything with those items. We're gonna have a doppelganger, which I'm just gonna explode with a bomb. We're gonna get a key, which takes us back up to 99. Very useful. And it is going to be Skolex, so it's, I guess, again, it's time for me to put my money where my mouth is and don't get hit by him. Uh, or not get hit by him, I guess. And hopefully he'll end up hurting himself a little bit. Who knows, man. Skolex is a, he's an enigma. But he should be very easy for us to kill regardless. Except he's a pain in the ass to hit. He's actually sometimes a little bit easier than Pin, just because, you know, Pin's got that uh, shot that he does every single time he lands. Whereas Skolex instead just sends out a wave of, of bullets that are admittedly... A little tricky to dodge sometimes, but uh, for the most part, I end up finding myself in a fairly okay situation. It's just difficult to hit, man. There's only one part of him that's actually vulnerable. But easy dodges. Uh, I think we're going to make it. And if I don't take any damage here, maybe we get a deal with the devil, or even better, maybe, a deal with the angel. Sacred tears or something. I'm grasping at straws, but that's all I got, man. I got one and a half hearts left and no damage. On our way to, uh, Mom's Heart, which is actually not that bad, but, uh, you know, the Cathedral afterwards, of course. Well, we get the Tears Upgrade from the 8-Ball. Obviously, that card is gonna be Judgment, so we're just gonna pass it by. Tears Upgrade is not the end of the world, but, um, we might be at the end of the world here, especially since we can't see our secret room on this floor. Due to Curse of Darkness, uh, full health. Wow. Lifesaver. So, at the very least, now we have, like, 12 Heart Containers, maybe 13. So... We have a little bit more defense, but this is not the run, as you guys know, if you're avid watchers, which you probably are if you're on episode 410. 
Uh, I'm not the kind of guy who likes to have these, like, high defense, low damage runs. I prefer exactly the opposite. Uh, hopefully we're, we're able to find something to make that happen. I'm not even worried about the judgment so much on this floor. Two cents, obviously, is going to make the judgments pretty impractical. But I can't find the secret room anyway, so why waste bombs looking for it? I'm mostly just worried about, uh, surviving here. Well, as more and more money comes in, the, the opportunity to potentially use a judgment, uh, is a, a little, presenting itself a little bit more, but, again, I'm, it's not a focus for me yet. Especially since all the judgments apparently only give me health upgrades. Not awful, but certainly not what I need, uh, if I'm gonna turn this frown upside down on a Isaac Run perspective. So... Let's just continue hanging out back here. I am going to try to take out the Guts dude first. Is that- that's Guts, right? That's not the bra- Ah, that was the worst damage! We really need a deal with the devil. I don't even know if we can get one after the Mom's Heart boss fight. I feel like that's something I- I should know, or maybe even did know at some point. If only we can get one more full health pill. That Demon Judgment could be a godsend. That was, again, awful, awful damage. What am I thinking? I'm just not dodging appropriately at all. So we're gonna put this guy in the corner here, kill the guts, then we're gonna kill the doppelganger. Didn't even make a scene, we get a little bit more money, and that means again if we end up coming across the boss room anytime soon, uh, I'm just gonna use cube of meat to destroy this one. If we come across the boss room anytime soon, uh, we'll be using at least one judgment to try to make something happen. Extra spirit heart. Never hurt anybody, except the chances of the enemy. Now, I just need to take it. This is an annoying room. Especially, like, if this room had any hope for transitioning into a boss room at some point, it would be awesome. But since it's a dead end, it's just really disheartening. Anyway, you're dead. We get extra bombs. Again, great versus mom's heart. Uh, and we've kind of reached dead ends here, so I think it's time for us to go down. Where we'll find another dead end. But an easy dead end. And one that will allow us to kill the doppelganger quite quickly, because of our key situation. Bloody Penny! Probably more valuable than the umbilical cord, which we have never been able to use so far. One second, I don't fuck this up again. It takes ten minutes to set up your trinkets properly. Uh, yeah, so every time we see a penny, obviously pennies are going to be useful for us because we need the hearts. Uh, but every time we see a penny, there's a chance that we will also get, uh... Oh, I don't like this room. Yep, there we go. Uh, there's a chance we will also get a, uh, heart out of it as well, which is, is very useful. As you can see right there! Five cents again. Judgment is, uh, the, the picture is becoming a little bit more clear that maybe this guy could be useful to us on this floor. I don't know what items are left in the, the judgment arsenal to even give at this point. One thing's for sure, I definitely prefer the variety of items that you tend to get from item rooms as opposed to just the, the seemingly endless parade of stat upgrades you get from judgment. But, indeed, I did kind of force this run upon myself, so I can't really complain. That's another dead end! I can't really complain, but I am complaining. I guess we're just gonna come up to the right side here, and uh, it's far right, I think, where uh, the boss is gonna have to be. What is this pill? Tears up. All right, you know what? I'll take it. Our, our rate of fire is pretty good right now, uh, but it, we could always use a little bit more. I stood way too close to him there, but it ended up working out just fine, albeit just barely. So we're just gonna kind of hang out here. That Diglett is totally trapped. We're just gonna wait it out, and as these guys move into our uh, airspace, we'll be able to take them out before we get too many problems, I think. I was really hoping that green bomb would expose some hidden tinted rocks. No such luck, though. But, it's very open now. And we are safe to go. And another penny, and another heart. So that's six cents. We're gonna see if we can't uh, make at least one of these judgments work for us. It's possible. I mean, I would take anything at this point, but obviously there's certain items I prefer over others. It's only two cents left. Don't let me down. Well, the red heart's okay. How about this one? I'll be back out for you later, Judgment. Who knows, maybe I end up... Oh, there's no treasure on this room, is there? I always forget with the Mom's Heart boss fight whether there's treasure or not. I believe the answer to the question is no, though. This is gonna be a long, uh... Fight against Mom's Heart here, especially with only seven bombs and they're not like Mr. Megas or anything. I'm not gonna be able to make too much progress against her uh, when I'm dealing with these bosses. But, uh, all we can do really is be consistent, you know? Get those shots in. Try not to take damage ourselves. We, we've got a lot of insulation to, to taking damage ourselves. Uh, gotta make sure I'm killing every enemy with every bomb as well. Otherwise, we're gonna be here for a while. Like, that was a total fuck up right there. You can tell you're fighting Mom, Mom's Heart slowly. Oh, that was bad. Uh, when you get two lasers, like, whenever the lasers come out, you're like, oh man. I mean, beyond, uh, obviously Mom's Heart starts with, uh, lasers. 
but whenever you have to deal with them twice, that's the game's way of telling you, like, you fucked up. We are gonna see every boss, I think. We're probably gonna see Chubb. Uh, with only one bomb left, I'm not gonna waste it against Duke of Flies here, because we can kill him fairly easily. Uh, this is gonna be a big one. Yep, there's Chubb, and hopefully, I'm just gonna try to focus on Mom's... I was gonna say I'm gonna try to focus on Mom's heart, get into the permanent bomb state so she could kill Chubb for me. But, we're gonna have to do it the slow way. And hopefully we get a penny at some point. That was bad damage to take twice in a row there. Chubb shouldn't last too long. His HP is not great. Uh, and my damage is actually fine with the amount of tears I'm shooting. And the damage from the small rock, obviously. But, uh... I don't know. It's certainly not where I need to be right now in order to succeed. We do have permanent bombs. That's fine. Mom's heart's gonna die fairly quickly. She's gonna kill all of her own enemies, which is good for me. I'm expecting laser bullet flies, which have just come out. Uh, I took a little bit more damage myself as well, but, uh, it's not the, the fight, it didn't go as well as I expected, I guess. But, uh, it could have gone worse. Definitely. Like I said, if we beat Mom's Heart, I'll consider it a success. The only reason we're here right now is thanks to that full health kill we got a little bit earlier. Uh, so we are gonna at least be able to make a run at the Cathedral, and in fact, we might be able to live for quite some time, considering the sheer amount of health that we have. But, uh, one thing's for sure, the Judgment Gravy Train is basically dried up. With no bombs, it's going to be pretty difficult for me to uh, go to those secret rooms and get extra money. Stranger things have happened, but we don't have a very good uh, setup for killing Blue Baby in this situation. We're doing uh, a lot of shots that do a little bit of damage, which is the opposite of what you want uh, if you're going to be making this stuff work on a regular basis without some kind of miracle involved. So we are just going to be keep taking some shots in here. We do get one penny, and I didn't... Oh, actually we got six cents. That could be big. Let's uh, pop this down. And then we'll use the Judgment card. And six cents, you never know. While we're here, we might go to that second room over to the left just to get something done. Extra health is awesome. Blue Candle. You know what? I'm going to take Blue Candle. Those of you might say it's against the spirit of the challenge run, but I've basically given up all access to items for the rest of the game uh, just to give myself a crack. If that if that means I forfeited the, the Judgment run, that's fine. Uh, I think it was unlikely I was going to use Judgment in the future anyway. So in my in my mind, it's a moral gray area. Well, maybe not moral, but a slightly ethical gray area. Which I'm going to completely gloss over, simply because I want to take the blue candle. It's the Northern Lion story in a nutshell, though, isn't it? Come on, dickwad fly. Uh, yeah, so basically I'm, I'm giving up all the access to items for the future. I want to open this without hurting myself. I can't believe I actually managed to do it. Um, yeah, giving up access to all items for the rest of the game to take this one item uh, that is going to give me a chance, potentially, at success. Maybe, if I play very, very well. <laughs> and we're going to be using the candle defensively as much as offensively, really, simply because there's really nothing else uh, that we have to defend ourselves with against those shots from Blue Baby and Isaac beyond just proper dodging, which is something that, to be quite honest with you, I'm not really the best at, as you've probably noticed. Uh, so this is going to open up some opportunities for us to possibly uh, make something good happen here. 100% uh, I, I would have failed without this. Uh, or at least like 99% odds, because you know, anything can happen. But uh, oh man, this is terrible damage. I'm probably going to fail with it regardless. That should give you some indication of how well I was doing before. Oh, uh, come on. Stop taking the stupid damage. We could always get a full health pill, you never know. Alright, this is going to be our boss fight. Oh, that was bad damage. I don't know why it exploded so quickly. How is this gonna work? I'm not 100% sure. If we only do damage with the blue candle, I think I'm gonna be unkillable. So you know what? That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do candle shots. I'm gonna stand away as, as far away as possible. Oh man, we're gonna be here for 100 years though, if that's the case. And by far, as far away as possible, I really just mean to give them maximum time with the fire spent over top of Isaac. So I'm, I'm just using the candle because I don't want to make him shoot any more than is absolutely necessary. And it actually provides us with decent defense as well. And by standing in this range, we're in not a bad spot. For once, I'm a little bit proud of myself. Executing kind of strategic play. And we do we can only get hit three more times. This is going to be a real problem. Oh, that was bad. This is going to be a real problem when the angel fetuses come out. Because uh, my dodging is going to get all fucked up. But for now... I think this was my best course of action. Oh, that's that's nasty now. Start dropping in some bombs now. Hitting them where it hurts. I think we're going to take one more hit pretty easily, though. There it is. 
It was worth a shot. Oh, I have the one up. I totally forgot. Oh, man. We actually have a very good chance to beat Isaac now. And then we're on the chest and anything could happen down there. I can't believe this has turned into like an hour long run, though. I'm a little bit happy with it, but I'm also a, a little bit vocally fatigued. I'm probably going to do like a two hour stream after this. So who knows, man? Who the F knows? Uh, I'm just standing still and firing the candle in here whenever the opportunity presents itself. Halo of Flies would have been a nice item, but, uh, you know, we, we can't always get what you want on that one. And actually, as much as I shit talk to the game for giving me so many health upgrades, I for totally forgot about the 1-Up, and in conjunction with the 1-Up, uh, they actually absolutely work fantastically. So, I'm trying to actually time- oh, that was terrible. I'm trying to actually time the candle shots now. I'm fighting way worse than I did last time. I'm trying to time them with the, the purple shots so that they're less likely to hit me because they just get absorbed by it. We're gonna win this fight! Uh, and then, who knows, man, when we get down to the chest, anything could happen down there. No more angel fetuses, please. Or just let me spawn the angel fetuses near you, so I can kill them all with one hit from my flamey flame here. Flamey flame! Okay, be careful. Uh, stand still. Nope, can't stand still. That was a big mistake. But Isaac's very nearly dead. Oh, that was, okay, not going so well anymore. I have lost almost all of my health on this run, which is bad, but I'm still here in the first place, which is awesome. I kind of didn't expect this. A little bit more. Oh, that didn't hit him. No, let's shoot him. He's so close. He's got like one candle shot left. Okay, he's dead. Now it's time. We can actually shoot our guns again or shoot our tears. What do I think I'm playing? Like Gears of War Judgment or something? Um, yeah, shoot our tears in here and possibly... Well, we are going to survive to the chest at least, but man, that was close. Oh, I don't think we're going to succeed, but it could happen here. Mom's bra. Magnets. Dead bird. Relic. Okay, well, relic's great. Dead bird doesn't hurt anybody. Magnet's basically worthless, and mom's bra is something we cannot take if we want to keep rolling with the candle. Uh, or if we wanted to keep rolling with the deck of cards, which obviously is kind of outside of the realm of possibility now. One more hit is going to kill me. I would be very surprised if that did not come on this Loki fight here. Just kind of hanging out in the corner letting dead bird do work uh, and very worried about the future of this run oh I really thought I had that one okay well in any case thank you guys for that challenge run suggestion it feels good to be back I'm gonna go make some lemon tea and uh, relax my vocal cords a little bit maybe you can tell but uh, they're pretty fatigued right now but in any case thanks for rejoining me on this series uh, you know thanks for supporting the channel while I was away for a few days and as always I will see you guys next time continue suggesting your challenge runs in the comments please